Ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and uh, we focus on dynamic uh, Korea. And you're both from South Korea, right? Yes, yes. sir. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we continue with the discussion because uh, uh, what we are hearing from our two special guests today, they're both uh, uh, residents or based in, 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 in the area, in our area, and they're doing business and they're working also at the same time. Uh, we still want to get some more uh, good uh, stuff from them that we can learn from, uh, we Filipinos can learn from. And you've talked about the work attitude. You've learned from your parents that uh, everything was work, 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 right? Yes. Sometimes you no longer recognize your children or the parents no longer is recognized by the parents because uh, they come home, the children are sleeping, as you said, yeah. Jason, and then they leave and they're still sleeping. And you said that uh, uh, the, the style of work of the Koreans is up to now. Uh, you give, you're given orders, you do what you ordered of you, right? And then you try to do more. Uh, you try to improve on uh, what was given you. Yes. Is that correct, Mr. I think that's the energy of the how to make a dynamic Korea in mm -hmm. these days. Mm -hmm. That's the power of dynamic Korea. But you said, uh, based from the discussion earlier, I've heard from you also that Korea is not that big. You do not have that much natural resources. Yes. But still, right now, how do you rank among the, among the tigers? How do you rank in the world, uh, your economy? Yeah, it's the South, South Korea has a market economy, which 15 by the nominal GDP and the next 11 by PPP is a purchasing power parity. Mm -hmm. And then South Korea is also one of the G20 major economic countries. And then... In the world, yeah? Yeah, in the world. And it's the only one included in next 11 economic countries. Okay. So you're, you're in the top of the world, uh, world's best, right? Yes. So How, what is the population now of South Korea? Any, any, Total now, total. now uh, totally the approximately 50,000, 50, 50 million. Yeah. 50 million? Yeah. Huh? That's uh, double, uh, ours is uh, 100 million. Mm -hmm. Philippines, huh? Yeah. Okay, and uh, how many, uh, uh, you were talking the, during the break that in, the, in your, the generation of your parents, how many children do they have? It's around it's, uh, three to four. Three to children. four. Yes. And then uh, your generation? One or two. One or two. Yes. Uh, but in the present generation. One or zero. One or zero. <laughs> yes. Is that correct? You. Uh, yeah, is that yeah. what's happening now? Yes. <laughs> so that's why the lowest delivery child is the country is South Korea in the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, you said you have a reason for that. You have a reason why you have lesser children now. You said you want to. Uh, can you please tell us the reason why you have only. The present generation, they only want one child or none. Yeah, basically, uh, the, to the Korean, our country has no many natural resources and small territory. Mm -hmm. So they hang is the, their future in education, as I already talked to yes. you. Mm -hmm. So we have to support these older children is the high quality and perfectly. So if we will deliver as so many children, the high, the education fees are so high. And tutorial fee also is horrible in Korea. And then we want to make our children, the global children, to read it uh, mm -hmm. globally. So mostly, Korean, they have a dream about is abroad study. Yes, so study. if they want to, to support very well on their children, they must not deliver so many children. Mm -hmm. Actually, a little bit different with Filipino minded. It's a Filipino. <laughs> they uh, want many, huh? Yeah, it's, uh, they think it's the many children, it's the many blessings, mm -hmm. and many insurance. But <laughs> <laughs> to the Korean, we are afraid to deliver many children. It's the children meaning, the kids meaning our responsibility. So we cannot support perfectly, much better is no delivery baby. Mm -hmm. So uh, as they said, they want the, uh, the Korean child to be the global, the global child, huh? Yes. Meaning they can survive anywhere else in the world. Yes, we look after is a quality of the education, mm -hmm. not quantity of the children and job. Different with us Filipinos, huh? Di ba sa ating mga Filipino gusto natin mas maraming anak para mayroong magtatra so that we have farm workers or somebody you can work with the other members of the family at a very young age. But what they're telling us right now in Korea, uh, they really want to invest on the child para so that they can give the best in the child. Yes. In terms of education, mm -hmm. is that correct, Mr. Jason? 
the, for the, the children's education, the Koreans, the input the money, almost uh, one-tenth. That means 10% of the national budget. Mm -hmm. Parents cover the privately almost 10% of the, uh, in Korea, the national, national budget is the 330, 330 uh, trillion Korean one. Very big money, but among them, the parents covers almost 10% by privately. It's not so small money. Mm -hmm. So every the young young generation uh, and parents think together to support well the student to my son to my daughter mm -hmm. by the the elementary, middle school and high school, including university together, almost 12, 16 years education. Then the money is very very big. Almost spend the, a lot. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So the and then the, you spend them abroad also to learn some other skills, right, and languages. Because I see a lot of young Korean children from Korea yeah. uh, studying in the Philippines for the English language, just for the English language and golf. Yes. <laughs> English, golf, Chinese nowadays. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, actually, do you know how many percent is of the person is the reading of this word? Mm -hmm. Can you guess? Actually, two percent. Always I heard from my parents, you cannot include it, 2%. But I hope you will be included 20%. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to my children also, why I'm giving good education, why I'm spending money here. You have to be included, it's a 20% age. And then please make your child include 10%. Mm -hmm. And my grandchild will be included 2%. And we lead is a global economy, and is global country. Mm -hmm. That's so, our education is the. So you have a you have a long term plan for your yes. family, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, every it's Korean, a big project, big project for the children. Is yeah. the, uh, all Koreans they think that way? Yeah, almost same. Same same yeah. mind, the same mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. So education we call this a uh, century plan. Century plan. Century huh? plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the Koreans in the Philippines and in the America and in Korea, they have the same plan. When they, even when they go outside, they still have that plan with them in their minds. Yes, mm -hmm. wherever we go, mm -hmm. the okay. priority we consider is the education of mm -hmm. the children. And, uh, and you also are out to yeah. educate also. Yes, right? the, when my uh, eldest son is in uh, middle school, grade two, at that time he wants to go outside. But already, uh, younger brother has start, started uh, the class in China, Darien, mm -hmm. on one the Canadian International School. Mm -hmm. So the, he's adjusted well in China. So the, I appreciate my eldest son. Uh, you, you eldest, if you want to go to America separately, your younger, younger brother is in China, then family, the parents in Korea, mm -hmm. then you are separate each other. So by the high school graduation, Let's be together. So mm -hmm. I moved all my families to China at first time, the Canadian school, uh, Chinese and English together. After then, a more English drill, four more English drill, I moved my family to uh, Singapore and moved to America, New York and New Jersey, returned to Singapore, now back to Philippines. Together now. Yeah, yeah. But all the uh, times. Aren't yeah. you not afraid that by sending your children to other places that they will lose the Korean way? We always pray. You always pray. <laughs> yes. That we sacrifice in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Also, we worry about this. My children is like a temptation from another situation, older situation. Mm -hmm. But we sacrifice more things mm -hmm. for the education. So even uh, not being with your children, right? Send the, like what you're doing, Jason. You send your eld eldest son to America? So the, uh, by, the, by the high school, so yeah, by high to, school. to teach Korean tradition together. Mm -hmm. uh, she, know, she, she should know Korean culture together for the identity. The, when he established well, then I can send so out. Yeah. You send them out. Yeah. So you are not afraid that even if you send them out, they will lose their Korean identity? No, they, will, they, they have will to teach it continuously. So yeah. the basic is always there. Yeah, yeah. You, you teach it when they were young, growing up, up yes. to high school. Yeah. And you believe that after high school, Whatever, wherever they go, they will have that in mind, being yeah. a Korean. They keep in mind as Korean, they can do a bilingual educational system or any other cultures. Mm -hmm. They can absorb, absorb and uh, digest his own, her own 
the ability, the potential ability. So your 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 foresight, uh, your vision for uh, the global child, Korean child is, they know what is Korea is about and they know what the world is about. Uh, is, they are combined the uh, Korean and the learnings and the education from the rest of the world. Yes, uh, two of my children is I delivered it in Korea, and my third baby I delivered in Philippines. Mm -hmm. But my last baby also, he knows how to speak his Korean language. Mm -hmm. He knows Korean food. He knows Korean culture. Mm -hmm. And then I'm teaching to my son is how proud about his Korean culture. Mm -hmm. So he knows all of that. Even if he's in the Philippines, they yes. know about it. Mm -hmm. That's really nice, huh? Yes. Because some, some uh, countries or some people, when they go to outside of their country, they forget about their country. I mean, the culture. Uh, there is a tendency to lose the culture. And, uh, and I think that's, uh, for us Orientals, I think that is for the Chinese, for the Japanese, the Koreans. Yeah. I, I think that is retained, right? Uh, yes, actually, it's our country also is a very special point. We were not a uh, very often case about international marriage. Mm -hmm. it's our country people is very conservative. So we... You're not open? Yeah, before. Before. But yeah, in this day, it's <laughs> a little bit it's open. It's yes. like international mm -hmm. marriage. The uh, Korean girl, I mean the Korean guys, they marry... All nationalities, but you tell the Korean girl to marry only Korean. Is that correct? Uh, but but you married the Filipino. Huh? Yeah, I'm very special case. Especially <laughs> the Korean woman is married with the Filipino guy. Mm -hmm. It's a very special case. But uh, you know, it's our country. We consider all the, our people is one blood. Mm -hmm. All. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Global, huh? Yeah. One blood. One blood. One blood. So that's why. It's, you know, in our country, so there was an IMF is condition. Mm. That time, is my country people is the learn and realize also is a country also mm. can be bankrupt. Mm -hmm. So my country people also were you bankrupt? South Korea was it bankrupt in the sixties or no, before the sixties? No, there mm -hmm. is no that kind of case. Mm -hmm. But it's the nineteen nineties. What did you do? What did what happened in in the nineteen nineties? I know there was a a, a big global. Uh, uh, meltdown of the global economy in the 90s. The yes, South Korea was no different. Mm -hmm. it, and also, it also experienced that. Yes, and the government could not control the amount of the dollars. Mm -hmm. So we borrowed the money from IMF, International Monetary Fund. Mm -hmm. And my government is the used four factor, is which I already told yes. you. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that time, also my country people also learn is the country also can be bankrupt. Mm -hmm. So, you're, you're afraid of that, huh? Yeah, Very actually, the borrowing right? money is from IMF. That's not a uh, bankrupt. Mm -hmm. But for the pre prevent from the bankrupt, the, the borrowing money is the, that's IMF, right? Mm -hmm. That time, is the South Korea people, they help the country doing many kind of campaign. Okay. The what, most, like what? Like most in, uh, famous campaign is uh, collecting gold. Mm -hmm. It's all people is willingly they uh, donate their personal gold to the country. Even small ring, even small yes. ring. engagement ring, and mm -hmm. any earring, all the things they so, willingly pay. Ang, ang sinasabi ko nila mga kaibigan, nung 1990s, nagkaroon po ng global economic meltdown. No? Eh, ayaw nilang mabankrap ang bansa nila. Siyempre, nandiyan yung IMF, nagpapatulong, nag, uh, tumutulong naman. Pero on their own, nagdonate yung mga ginto nila, mga alahas po nila, Sabi nga nila, small rings you donated. How much did you collect? In the end of the campaign, mm -hmm. is, uh, can you guess? We could collect the gold, 227 ton of the gold. And mm -hmm. we paid the, our debt by the gold to IMF. Mm -hmm. So you have no debt? Uh... Uh, we could overcome it only three years. Mm -hmm. In three years, you were able to pay all yes. the debts to IMF? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the Korean people, they did something which yes. was not done by so many people, right? Yes, and we started to use our credit card to pay our tax. Mm -hmm. It's from our own way. Mm -hmm. So until now, you know, even one pack of the cigarette, if I want to buy, I use this, my credit card. It's just so different here. Mm -hmm. Different, huh? Yeah. Yun. Ayun ho, mga kaibigan, uh, you, you, and they, both of them uh, were talking about the same thing. Uh, para humasakip ang bansa nila sa pagkakautang, right? Indebtedness. 
tatlong taon po, binayad po nila ang utang nila kasi tumulong po yung mamamayan nila. Yung, did you make uh, your government pay for the donat donated gold? I did it also. Mm -hmm. And my mom also did it. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud about what we did it. Is the government paying you now because you... Uh, no, no, that's the donation. Oh, no, donation, no. huh? That's a donation. Donation, ho. Hindi binenta. <laughs> donation, ho, mga kaibigan. How much did you donate? <laughs> I cannot remember. <laughs> but Mr. Mm -hmm. Lee, sir, is, uh, do you remember there is one story is... Uh, there is one owner of the jewelry shop. Yeah. He gathered it secretly without knowing of the family. He gathered all this, uh, his uh, store of gold, and he donated the country. Mm. Very moving story. Yeah, yeah that's, even to you, listening to you right now, this is very moving. Yeah. Yes. Because uh, so your country will not be in yes, such trouble. Yes, more touchable story is that after that, the family did not blame the daddy. Mm -hmm. Didn't complain anything. Did not complain. Yes. Yeah. How much gold? That was a lot of gold, huh? <laughs> a lot of jewelry, huh? But right now, you're very rich. You can buy again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to have another break. And this is such a, a beautiful, moving stories we're hearing from the, Korean, the Koreans, how they were able to surpass all the uh, global economic problems and uh, thrive. In fact, China, uh, ang pinakakatakutan po ng China na makakalaban po nila, sa ekonomiya, ang, Korea, ang South Korea, hindi man po Japan, mga kaibigan. Babalik po tayo after the break.